This project took me almost three years to complete and even longer to start. Watch as I go from stick figures to adding muscle structure to my models. So back in early 2018, I took a break from origami. Around that time, I had been folding multiple times a week, even daily sometimes, since 2014, uploading on an old YouTube channel. But somewhere along the way, I became disappointed with my work and ended up taking a year break. During that break, I watched a lot of anime, video games, and movies. A whole list of things that inspired me. For a while, I used that inspiration to work out. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't fulfilling either. So I decided to pick up origami again. But this time, I wanted to improve. November 2019, I found clarity in something I was folding. And so it became clear what direction I wanted to take. So from there, I started practicing human figures. For a while, they were pretty basic, but then there were poses, outfits, faces, muscles, uh, anatomy balancing. These were all things I was starting to understand. And before I knew it, I wanted to challenge myself. There had been this show I was watching called Baki. I became fascinated in not just the anatomy of the characters, but the overall idea of strength. While watching, there was a character that really stood out to me more than the rest of the characters whose muscles were human, anatomy animal-like, and bone structure prehistoric. In my eyes, Pickle was a beast. But mainly what reflected in my eyes was art. Just as someone created the story I wanted to create, express even that beyond peak human form. Seeing a character like this made me feel less insecure about my own body. In my head, if I was an eight foot, 440 pounds, and I don't care what I look like, in a sense that I didn't want to work out to look good, I did it to be strong. Obviously voices can get in your head, but at the end of the day, allowing yourself to feel down is the only way to get back up with a smile. I know how this sounds, but bear with me. Feeling anxiety, depression, listening to other people's voices instead of your own is like a ball and chain attached to your leg. Allowing yourself to sit down and feel these emotions is like allowing yourself to sit and realize you have it attached to your leg. And like with them both, after being still, you'll find a way to move, a way to release and unlock a way forward. With this model, of course, it's nowhere where I want it to be, but this has been my biggest motivation to keep folding and practicing. The progress has been insane, and I'm only going to get better from here. Hope you enjoyed it.